Concerned about Magento store security? Welcome to today's episode, where we explore simple ways to install a Magento security patch to safeguard your store. But before we begin, please hit the subscribe button to avoid missing any future videos. Let's dive in. 1. The SSH method. Upload the patch file to your server's Magento root directory. Log into your server and ensure the patch file is in the correct directory. Execute the following commands in the command line interface. Refresh the cache from the Magento admin user, system, tools, cache management. 2. Composer method. Test the patches before applying them to your live website. Once confirmed, you can apply the patch using these steps. Connect to the command line and navigate to the Magento root directory. Add the Quigan slash Composer Patches plugin to the composer.json file. Edit the composer.json file and specify the module, title, and path to the patch. Run the following command and update the composer.lock file. The lock file helps track which composer package has patches in an object. Refresh the cache in Magento Admin. Consider these pre-installation tips for Magento 2 security patches. 1. Backup your Magento store. Create a backup of your Magento 2 store, including the database and media files. Go to Magento Admin, System Tools, Backups, and choose the backup type. 2. Check version compatibility. Verify the compatibility of the security patch with your Magento 2 version. Run this command to check the Magento version. 3. Enable maintenance mode. Enable maintenance mode to disable your store for updates temporarily. Use the following command to enable maintenance mode. Four, test the patch on staging. Test the patches on a development or staging environment before applying them to your live website. Review patch release notes and test front end and back end changes. You can use the Magento security scan tool to detect and fix any issues. That concludes the installation and pre-installation steps for Magento 2 security patches. If you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up and share your feedback in the comments section.